fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. We are September 29, going out with Rick. Here's Rick's new dog, Addy. Nine weeks old. Look at how cute this little guy is. Look at that face. Oh. Rick's wife, Linda. Say hi, Linda. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and we're going to do an overview of the 32 foot metal shark, Fearless, the Blue Jay, out of Greenport, New York. Captain Rick starting her off. We're going to try for Albies too. Hopefully it's not just a boat review video, but we can show a couple of fish caught. But Rick's son Jack's going to be joining us in a second. He knows this boat inside out. He did a lot of the electrical work on it. And he's going to, as we're driving out, he's going to give us a about a stern overview. A lot of, a lot of neat things on this boat. Very unique boat. All right, here we go, guys. A late September 2018 Albies trip on uh, Captain Rick Cohut's beautiful 32-foot Aluminum Shark Fearless Boat, known as the Blue Jay. You've seen this on our videos and on John Skinner's videos. And there's always comments about the boat, so I thought, why not do a, a quick overview of the boat? Uh, leading the overview will be uh, Rick's son, Jack, who's done a lot of the work on this boat. Hope you enjoy. I know it's something a little different. And as always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, Has so his business. Been, we'll put a link in the description. I heard there's been a lot of questions about this boat. So this is the hull number one. One of the Metal Shark Fearless 32 done by Metal Shark Boats in, I believe it's Jernet, Louisiana. Um, and uh, it's a step tall based off of Michael Peters' design. Um, I believe it's the Invincible 31, right? That has the same, 33, that has the same uh, water line down with the steps. And uh, well, that's interesting. So, we've, so this is basically an Invincible hull in a metal jacket. Uh, yes, from the water line up, Metal, Metal Shark took their own rendition of it and decided what they want to do with the design. But um, we, we took it to another level and wanted a commercially designed fishing boat that we could really beat up and have fun with and not worry about too much. And uh, we fished the hell out of it. We've had it for four and a half years, yeah? Four and a half, and we have about, uh, four, about 1350 hours on the motors. And uh, we've done a lot of work to the boat. And those motors are twin Yamaha. So we got twin Yamaha 300s. Uh, they're the best, we wouldn't get anything else. Um, we have a full Raymarine electronics package. Two uh, ES125 screens, dual chirp transducers, down vision, FLIR, digital HD radar. Yeah. Just up there. See the FLIR up there. Black oak Light LED bar. everywhere. Mm -hmm. We got yeah. light 50 inch single row light bar and it's a very deep boat up here i'm six feet tall and it's up to my waist uh and i can't there we go somebody's screaming <laughs> we can't uh i can't reach the bottom from the bow you gotta you gotta be in the stern it's, to it's reach a great the boat you can really lean up against it it's very dry boat and skinner loves this boat prefers fishing on it for that reason he likes fishing in the bow we have the forward seating in ours so if you're in the bow you know it's a narrow confined space you're 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 really uh, no balance and and you can't really reach over where this one you can I don't know if this is gonna show but you can really prop yourself up against against the gunnel here and, and fish so let, let's uh, so we got an anchor locker up here right it's just a locker. very deep anchor locker I presume yeah 400 feet in line in there we've got all our life jackets line. in line storage on the one side we've got our flush cleats Got LD nice, Marine rod holders. Frigid, but what I rigid love, cooler. the frigid rigid. This thing holds ice. Oh, we don't have ice. Oh, no. we're not keeping we're any not fish. We're going for Albies. I'm just so used to uh, a, a box full we're of ice for the blue. This is strictly sport today, John. Yeah, strictly yeah, sport. you're right. We got more storage under here. I know that. Yeah, we got storage under there. We have our life raft, ditch yeah. bag, first aid kit, autopilot. It's computer. also a very comfortable seat. Yes. Awesome. Got washdowns up here too. Fresh water. Yeah. And then I love these seats. Tell us about these seats, the Shock 5s. So, 
Oh, that's like shocks with an S. Shocks, sorry. So we got them and we had them come to us with the military shock in it, so a coil shock, which we then uh, had them switch out with us. We have now have a Fox Air Shock in there that we've uh, aired down a little bit from the Coast Guard spec, so it's really like almost like a Cadillac riding along. It is, really and I've, nice. I've ridden in this boat coming back from Montauk in some choppy weather. And I got to tell you, you you just go up and down like you're riding in a Cadillac. You don't feel any bumps. The the seats are hydraulic, right? Uh, yeah, it's it's um it's air suspension. It's an air suspension. So like what you get in a new Dodge Ram. So you, it's got this oh, shock down here, right? So this is the the piston and the shock and this yeah. is the top of the body. Really cool. There's an air air uh, valve up here. You can adjust the pressure. Really cool. Really cool. And then here's a shot of the electronics. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of Ray Marine. It's a running joke with Jack and I. Um, I'm a Garmin man. I like but, their stuff. But uh, Jack loves it their stuff. Works like, really so well. Autopilot on this, uh, night vision, full windshield. It's really nice riding back here in the Northeast, especially when we go for Blackfish. It's got full JL stereo with yeah. six speakers. This part wins. I like. I mean, uh, one thing I wish we had on our boat was a full windshield that could cover us when, when we're driving in the cold. It. Uh, you know, the wind hurts in the in the fall and spring. Yeah, and we fish into December, so this full windshield is great. You're very quiet today. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, so. Did you see inside the console or the electronics? Oh, we got the seeker piece of electronics. What's the TD that? Lines machine. The old Loran. Oh, the old Loran, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Here's a shot. There is a, there is a head in here, but obviously... Fresh water head. Obviously... All nicely, very professionally done in here. It looks uh, high grade. You can see the FLIR, uh, the FLIR computers there, the head unit. It's the Rain Marine stuff, really cool. And then I know your dad's gonna wanna take off in a second. This is uh, the back of the boat, the stern, where there's a lot of rod holders you can see throughout the boat. More storage under these, this seat. This, this seat is, uh, and yeah, nice uh, built-in tackle station, very cool. I know there's storage under here. Keeping it organized. Yeah, more storage under there in the gunnels. We have all our sinker storage all done out. Yeah, really cool stuff, really cool stuff. And then uh, we also got a huge live well here. Hard to tell, but what is this, about 40 gallons, 50 gallons? It looks that big. I think it's 50, 60 gallons. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty big. Yeah, they're the, the Yamis. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll cut back at some point. Rick, you're going to have to open it up wide open throttle for us no for problem. a minute at some point. <laughs> no so problem. we could see the sailboat racing. Yeah, and there. Racing. Well, I can't really Up zoom around. in on this, but uh, yep, there's uh, in the distance a regatta. Uh, there's Shelter Island right in front of us. And I, I don't know, Rick likes to take off super early. So this must have been very difficult for him to <laughs> the speed limits, you to know. close the five mile an hour speed limit. You're supposed to do it That's to that over. white buoy over there. And it's not quite over. There's another 25, 30 yards, but... Uh, oh, I meant that time of the year. No, they take those out at some point. They're not out yet. Anyway, all right, we'll, we'll pick this up uh, a little bit later. Mentally it's over. <laughs> Mentally it is over. And here we are on our way to the Albi grounds. And as promised, here's a shot of a, a full throttle run. You'll see uh, we get up to about 52, 53 miles an hour. That's with over half a tank of fuel. I believe that's... Uh about 175 gallons or so of fuel. I think the boat holds a little over 300. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the Albi fishing wasn't great, but we did get some fish and uh, you, you'll see that in a second. Camera wasn't even on, Jack, unfortunately. What did you say? Camera wasn't on. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Well, Jack Jack hooked up. Oh, you caught a crab? You caught a little crab. That's what's all in the water there. Yeah, the oh, water is filled with these little crabs. Look, the brown you see, I don't know how well it'll come out on video. Like, millions and millions of these little crabs. So, I don't know. It might be probably gorging on this. And Jack is hooked up to an Albi using his uh, tuna rod and tuna reel. 
<laughs> it's confusing albacore for uh there Flip it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a nice size. Dude, you hear you hear that you heard that run on this guy? Yeah. Whoa dude, it's a nice one. Yeah, tell me. See I bring the right tackle, you know? Wow. Dude, not <laughs> bad. Not bad. Seven I don't, pounds? Mess, I don't mess around, dude. You got a... Yeah. Right here. You weren't losing this guy. I lost... I left all the... lost those on the beach. Wanna let him go? Yeah. Sure. Hey, buddy. Nice <laughs> fish. Nice fish. <laughs> Very good. Good job. Right here. And yeah, I, I definitely missed that first fish Jack hooked up with, but I, I didn't miss this one. And I'll have a, a link in the description to all the gear I'm using. Uh, I'm using much lighter tackle than uh, Jack and Rick are. There you, you can see they're, they're using, I'm joked around with the first fish uh, tuna gear, but I, I wasn't that far off. I told you. Let it sink. sink. It's good, dude. And then reel. Yeah, just start reeling again. Oh, they're jumping like crazy out there. You oh. cast, you cast it through the outrigger? <laughs> oh, jeez. I just stopped my reel. I just stopped my cast. They just jumped like crazy right behind us here. They're jumping right here, Jack, right? Rick, come up here. They're jumping right at the bow. Yeah, I don't need any help, guys. Come on. Why would you need help? No, I'm just going to... Dude, look at this bow between this fish. Dude, that's a big fish, huh? Yeah, you tell it. Look at this rod, dude. That's a 6,000 reel, too. Whoa! I uh, one just chased it. Well, he just ran right. This guy's playing with me. He just ran right towards me. Oh wow! Look at them jumping right there. Yeah. No, that's, no, that's yeah. fish jumping. Oh, dude, that's a big one. <laughs> Holy crap! What happened? Ugh. Wow, Jack. How big is that guy? Put a boga on him. No, they were they're all around us. Just move up there slow. Oh, I'm on. Oh. Oh, look at them up there in front of us. Holy moly. Oh, look at them go. Oh! Oh, I'm in! You're on too? Oh, double header. Jack, they're jumping like crazy right in front of us. You lost them? This guy's fighting weird though. That's the way mine was fighting, he was just sitting down there. Yeah. 
This guy's not, uh, he's not peeling drag. Oh, I have Got him? Thank you. Not bad. Woo! Not bad. Thank you. Jaggy boy. Woo. Yeah, I told him right there. There you go. John, I got one, John. Well, yeah, because I told you where to cast. John, I got one, John. No, you don't. I can't reel when the drag is going. I know that. Nice, Rick. Nice. You did, okay. Ricardo. You got a real faster, Rick. The fish is actually staying on the lure. Who tied those knots? Give Rick a hand. Wow, he doesn't want to give up, huh? Want me to take over before you lose all your line? Look at, look at the fish out there. Why don't you go cast at him? Well, because I want to help you. Oh. What are you going to do? I don't know. Reel in the rope? <laughs> oh. Give you instructions like I do with Skinner. All right. <laughs> Giving up? Oh, you made him? The fish. The fish. The fish. Oh, the fish. Yeah, there he there is. He yeah. We have a little color. I saw him. Surprisingly, he stayed on. Yeah. Nice. No. No. Right in his mouth. Okay. Got to just get that head out of the water, and he's dead. Right, got him. Not bad. Nice bad, huh? Give him a little slack there. There you go, let him go. Nice yeah. fish. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Give him a little pat. Yeah. Nice job. Uh, okay, I got my fish with we'll go now. Yeah. And to paraphrase from the movie The Usual Suspects, Fishing. poof, just like that they were gone. Just and in this fishing. case, they is the Albies and not uh, Kaiser Sose, but that's Albie fishing. You can be in them thick one second and you can't find them the next, and, and we couldn't. Um, I hope you like this video. It, it, interesting and a little different than what we normally do. Um, I will include in the description a build thread to this boat from the boating website, The Hull Truth. I'll link to that build thread. And I'll also include the contact information for Jack Kohut, who uh, gave us the overview of the Blue Jay. Uh, Jack owns his own marine business in eastern Long Island called Blue Jay Marine. He does phenomenal work. He is very meticulous with everything he does. Um, and, you know, if you do have a boat in eastern Long Island and you're looking at electronics installation or e even a restoration of the boat, feel free to give Jack a call. I promise you his work is great. Uh, thanks again for watching. And remember, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button.